YouTube was popping, baby. It's your boy Adam back with another video. And on this channel, man, you know the drill. We're all geared towards self improvement. And you read the title of today's video. The sim like the most simple thing anybody can do. Literally anybody could do. Okay, maybe not. Actually, no, it's simple. It's just not easy. But anybody can literally do this to increase their attractiveness. Like, it's it might take a while depending on where you're at. But all you have to do to become more attractive is get leaner, lose some body fat. You know, like it's insane how much of an effect that has on your person, because if you are a bit overweight, you're ho you holding you are holding a bit more body fat than usual. Your facial structure is going to be completely different. The way people perceive you is going to be completely different. Now, like, for example, I'm bulking right now, right? I'm about 205 to 210, fluctuating in between that that weight range. And my face is just a lot puffier. It's a lot, like, you can still see some definition. Like, I still have my jawline simply because I have a beard. Um, But usually my cheekbones are more pronounced when you're looking at me straight on. Like, you can still kind of see them. At this point in time, if I turn my head to the side, but when I'm leaner, here's a picture. When I'm leaner, it's just, it's an insurmountable difference in the drastic change it makes to your person, your appearance. And I'm not saying you can't be attractive at higher body fat percentages because you still can. I'm not like obese or nothing, you know, but if you want to be a model, if you want to have like that kind of TikTok e-boy kind of look or like that, you know, female model look where they have the cheekbones and the, and the hollow cheeks that are very prominent. You have to be a lower body fat percentage and it's really that simple. You have to be leaner. There's nothing you can really do other than that to make your facial aesthetics pop more. Um, you could try like the mewing stuff, but that's, it's not, it's just not the same as getting lean because getting lean, you actually see the changes happen to you in real time. It might take a while, but mewing is like, it's impossible to really notice the changes, especially because, especially when you're older, like your jaw's not going to change that much. Your bone structure, your bone density is going to change a little bit, but the structure itself the older you get, the less it's going to change from mewing and other outside sources. But one thing you can always do, no matter what age you are, is just be leaner, get leaner. And depending on your goals that might not align with you right now, um, especially if you're trying to build muscle and you're bulking, such as I. But eventually, eventually, you could get lean. You can have that model look. And don't forget, like, you might not have that hollow cheek look, no matter how lean you get, because that's simply genetics. That's simply where your fucking cheekbones and your jaw line up and it's it's just genetic bro like don't get too obsessed about it because i used to be very obsessed about really like achieving that supermodel look the hollow cheeks the crazy cheekbones and i can get crazy cheekbones because my cheekbones are high but i'll probably never have the hollow cheek look unless i'm like fucking skin and bones unless i'm just a beam pole, you know what I mean? So don't really try not to obsess too much about your looks. Like obviously you want to look better, but just don't go overboard. Okay. Like a lot of people on the internet have you doing today. Just focus on getting leaner, being a caloric deficit. If you want to get leaner and really just track your calories, track what you eat, track what you do on a daily basis. Make sure you're exercising, make sure you're getting your water. One thing I've noticed is when I drink enough water throughout the day, the next day, I look bigger in my body, like my muscles look bigger and my face looks leaner, which is kind of like, how the fuck does that work? I don't know, but it does, right? Don't forget to get a good night's sleep. All that, all that stuff adds up to your attractiveness. But one actionable step you can take today, if you really want to up your attractiveness level is just getting leaner, okay? That's the premise of this video. That's the moral of this video. Because anybody can do it. You can do it if you really put your heart to it. And it's not something that's intangible like mewing. Like you can literally see your progress 
from the scale. You can see your progress, maybe not on a day-to-day -day basis, but the more and more you focus on what you eat, tracking what you eat, tracking the intake that your body um, consumes, the more you focus on that kind of stuff, and as months go by, you're going to just see the differences. So take that into account. That's literally the simplest. It's not easy, but the simplest way you can up your attractiveness within maybe six months. Six months. Give yourself six months. Go on a caloric deficit. Go on a, a cut. Again, depending on your goals. If you don't want to be super lean, if you don't, like, if you're trying to build muscle right now and that's counterintuitive, then don't do it. Don't do it. Wait till you build the foundation first and then cut down. Okay? Especially if you're in like your early 20s, bro. Don't focus too hard on looking like a fucking supermodel, dog. Just build your physique first because that's more important. Like that's a lot harder than getting lean. Force feeding yourself and getting like actually jacked is a lot harder than cutting down and getting lean. Okay? So focus on that first then get lean and you'll be surprised at how amazing you look at the end of the journey. But that's really all I have for you today. If you enjoyed, learn something from this video. Don't forget to share it with somebody that needs to hear this information. You know the drill, like, subscribe, hit the bell to be notified when I drop another video. And I'm very blessed and grateful to you for watching all the way to the end. Happy Thanksgiving. Make sure you uh, do your greatly, <clears throat> excuse me, make sure you do your daily gratitude for the day. Um, write down what you're thankful for. And I'm going to catch you in the next one. I'm gone.